Right, so I want to go over a complete step-by-step -step on how this guy was able to do this with his traffic and clicks, right? That's organic traffic from literally zero to over 3,000 almost and ranking for almost 6,000 keywords solely with AI. And I want to go over step-by-step -step what he did, why he did it and how you can do the same. It's going to take me like 20 minutes to explain, so it's going to be a long one, but stick around because it's going to be worth it. So let's get started with it. So first things first is zero to 10K a month. Now, why is 10K a month here? Because uh, he essentially, the niche is night ticket selling, nightclub ticket selling for events. And he was able to make a deal with, and I can talk about me more, a bit more about the deal when he, he lets me talk about it. Um, but essentially he made deals with his multiple nightclubs in different uh, cities, right? And once a, a big event was popping off, he used AI to rank for certain keyword, uh, keyword terms and sell those tickets, right? So let me go over exactly what he did because it's important that we, we, we discuss this. Because first things first, thing you see here is this Google Search Console graph, right? The screenshot. Now, work started more or less around here, started around October, right? And as you can see, there was a clear a clear growth, right? Now, you see here 17,000 clicks, uh, almost 600,000 impressions. And this is great, right? But you cannot focus on the numbers because this could be 20 million clicks. But if it were uh, pointless clicks, quote unquote pointless clicks, it would be worth zero because the real metric that you need to focus on here is money. Why? Because you can be getting clicks for terms that people aren't clicking to buy a thing. You know, let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, I own an iPhone repair shop. This is my shop right here. That's my shop. I want to get people in to repair their iPhones, right? Now, I want to rank on Google, right, for terms like where to repair my iPhone, how much is it to repair my iPhone? I don't want to rank for terms like how to repair my iPhone. Because if I'm ranking my site, a blog post on my site or whatever for how to repair my iPhone, people searching for how, they want to do it themselves, right? While people searching for where or how much, these are people that want someone to fix the iPhone for them. So I want to rank my site for these terms right here. So this, these people are the ones I want. Now, not to say that I don't want these people, the people searching for how, I might want them because I might be able to convert them if I if they see that in fact um, actually fixing fixing an iPhone, uh, fixing an iPhone themselves it's quite hard right I can't even put affiliate links there but that's not the point right the point is to focus on buyer intent bi buyer intent keywords keywords from people that are predisposed to buy right so that's why these numbers here are kind of pointless right this is kind of pointless because this could be one I mean it could be a hundred a month right a hundred a month which is much less than this, but if these 100 people were ready to buy, ready to throw their cards and buy something, it would be much more valuable. So the keywords you're targeting matter much more than this, 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 uh, and this number, right? So yeah, I'll just keep that in mind. Uh, then this is our main keywords are ranking for over, or almost 6,000 keywords, right, from since October, right here, so I think, actually, sorry, actually it was around here, ranking for almost 6,000. Not all these are buyer intent keywords, by the way, uh, but most of them are, right? And this is, was, again, 100% achieved with AI. The software they use was, is Journalist AI. I'll leave a link uh, for this in the description. Meanwhile, I do want to show you uh, the type of content this generates. So if I go here, these are articles for a karting school, right? This is done with AI. The whole uh, table of contents, the whole article structuring, the internal links, the images, the videos, uh, tables, bullets, more images, more internal links, external links. Down here, a call to action to uh, booking a call or booking a time at this card school to, I mean, go out and drive there, right? So all these articles optimized to convert people, right? And I can skim through all these. I can post them to my WordPress site if I want one by one, or I can just go here and post them all at the same time. Now, again, this was done with AI. And the good thing about leveraging these AI tools and ones like journalists, they allow you to produce content in 300 batches. You can just do 300 and click generate and you generate 300 articles. And you can publish 300 articles every single day if you want. The good thing about these AI tools is that they allow you to iterate much faster, generate content much faster, right? So the flywheel flies much faster. So you're able to see what works, what doesn't. So that's why you need to be using AI tools. Um, now, of course, he did combine this and he's, he has here a post, right? On exactly what he did. I'll link it down below, right? But he did also combine this with other, with three other, three other things. One being manual uh, iterations or manual changes, right? You have to take the output from the AI and sometimes you need to do some changes, right? Oftentimes you don't need to do ch changes. You can just 
you just post the output of the content to the to your site but sometimes you do might need to might need to do it depending on the competitiveness of your niche right second thing is link building right you want to be building links right links are more powerful nowadays than ever so you want to be building links backlinks if you want if you want to go to a place to buy links just go to vetted.com v-e-t-t-t.com those guys will treat you right um Second thing, third thing, sorry, is technical SEO, right? You want to be optimizing your meta tags, meta titles, meta descriptions. You want to be doing your schema markup. So all these technical stuff, and I can link link a video down below exactly how you can do it. I have a video on that too. But these three things also helped with this. So it's not just about leveraging AI tools to post content, but post and publish, sorry, to sorry generate and publish. But these AI tools will serve as the base, right? As the base to then push you to the stratosphere to essentially rank the site and make money. And again, I give this analogy over and over again, but think about this as a stair, right? Stair and up here being success, being making money and converting people to buy your product. Previously, without AI tools, you used to have to do, do the keyword research, then writing the article, then figuring out what's the best images to place on the article. Same thing for videos. Then reading through the article and figure out, figuring out, sorry, where's the best place to add internal links to, external links, choosing the anchor text. Doing all this took so much time. With tools like this one right here, you skip all of these steps, right? Because it does the content generation, right? And an article generated with Journalist AI has a featured image, has proper structuring, has an internal internal in-article images, sorry, in-article videos, bullets, tables, uh, quotes, uh, internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site, linking out to other blog posts on your site, your contacts page, right? External links, so linking out to authoritative sources on your site. For example, if this is an article about finance, linking out to uh, Investopedia, Wikipedia, I mean, all those, right? TechCrunch. And also down here, a call to action to your product or service, right? And the paragraph in which the call to action is included in makes sense according to the whole the article as a whole, right? And again, this is the type of content journalists say I generate that allows you to skip the line, right, for, to up here. Then also it publishes the content for you on autopilot. Like I showed you here before, you can just go to, I mean, you can generate your articles, which I won't do right now, then go here to history and you can publish them uh, all at once by going here or one by one by viewing them and publish them. Or if you want to go a step further, just go here to auto blogs, like so, set up a new auto blog. And once you're done, you can choose right, how many articles you want to publish and the frequency every single month, weekday, every 12 or six hours, right? You can do this, uh, this, hit save and every single week, five articles will, will be posted one a day. And you can integrate with all these platforms. I mean, you can do WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Blogger, even Zapier or an external API, right? So again, this is why uh, AI allows you to, and in specific, journalist AI allows you to skip the line. Also, it does the keyword research for you plus the content indexing, right? If you go here, I won't show you right now, but just click indexing. You can set up an indexer and here, keyword research, keyword monitors, you set up a keyword monitor and it'll give you the keywords that you should be producing content for. So keywords with low SEO difficulty, right? Right, Sorry, but high uh, enough uh, search volume. You can just select the ones you want and produce content around those, right? Now, let's dive in deep, deeper because I, I think it's important that I give you all this context before we dive a bit deeper into what he did. And he did write a, a post on this, right? Which I'll, again, I'll link in the description. So you can see, um, but yeah, essentially what did he do? Did he do, sorry. Programmatic SEO, right? I have a video solely on this. Please remind me if I forget to leave a link for this in the video description, right? Um, not important, but it is somewhat needed depending on the niche, right? Um, deep, note that he, bold, uh, he capitalized this right here, deep queue research and content categorization because first thing you need to do before you build out any content, before you build out any links is putting yourself in the customer's shoes, right? And understanding what they are searching for, right? And if you put yourself in their shoes and think, okay, if I were a customer to this brand, what would I be searching for on Google, right? And once you know that, you know exactly what keywords they will be searching that you should be producing content around or content for. And make sure that those keywords are buyer intent keywords. And by the way, again, you can use your list AI to go here to keyword monitors, add your site, add your uh, location, and this will analyze all this, plus your competitors and come up with keywords. And so use these tools, use, use free tools, use, use any tool, you don't need to use this one, Just use any tool to get and to build out your keyword list being them have to be buyer intent keywords, right? So do this and spend a couple of time uh, on this because that's one of the most important things you're going to do. Then when I talked about the uh, technical SEO side of things, optimizing the title, uh, meta title, meta description, right? Sprinkling your keywords in there, super, super important. Uh, address language limitations. So having the content be written for multiple languages. By the way, you can do this 
with the journalist AI. I, I just showed you before, you can produce content in over 150 different languages. So Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, Turkish, I mean, English, whatever, right, whatever language you want. So you can do that is here. So if you're targeting international markets, which are easier to rank for, you can leverage this tool to do so. Also, I often give this example as well. Let's say, for example, you are uh, working with a plumbing company, right? Plumber in uh, New York City, right? In New York City, people speak English, right? 99% of people, I'm sure, speak English in New York City. But there are some people that speak Spanish in maybe some, some certain streets, certain neighborhoods, certain parts of New York City. What you can do is you can target these people by having a section on your blog that's in Spanish that targets the keyword plumber in NYC, but the Spanish version, right? The, the whole content being Spanish. And you can do this with with journalist CI right here, just select Spanish and uh, produce content around it. Again, the content will have images, videos, links, all this uh, done for you automatically. So pretty important. Now, uh, this one, this ties in with the buyer intent keyword uh, keywords, because if you implement comparison pages, right, uh, the thing is that someone's searching for um, alternative to product X or alternative to service X. They know they want to buy or invest in this service or product, but they are looking for an alternative because something about the the other thing isn't satisfying their needs, right? So comparison pages are very, very important, right? This ties in again with uh, what you mean by high converting keywords. Again, keywords that are focusing on comparison, alternatives, customer pain points, uh, questions, right? So very, very important. Again, focusing on high converting keywords. Uh, he used Hotjar and other uh, services to essentially see where people clicked, optimizing the user experience. So optimizing for UX is very important. Uh, also tied in with the technical SEO, we want to make sure you have a you have a fast website, right? Otherwise, you can be ranking first, but if your site takes 10 seconds to load, people will just click off and go to the second one. So it's pointless to be ranking number one if your site isn't fast enough. And avoiding informational pages and focusing just on what generates revenue, right? As there are different types of content a company can write about, right? What I talked about before, focus on content that generates revenue. Don't go for the... Um, articles about uh, how to repair an iPhone, right? Go for the ones on where, uh, the pricing, right? All these buyer intent keywords. Again, I keep on hammering this on, but it's super, super important, right? And you can read the rest here, but that's essentially it, right? That's about it. You can read the comments. You can even comment here and he'll, he'll help you out if you have any questions. But the whole idea here that achieved uh, results like this, right? Up, up, and up is by leveraging AI, right? leveraging AI writing tools. Because the truth is that if you are not leveraging AI tools, you're going to get left behind because your competitors eventually will. And this stair diagram is super valuable because again, if you're not doing it with AI, you're going to be doing step by step by step by step. You're going to, you might be able to do it, but you're going to take so much time, right? And a thing you do in 10 days, your competitors do in a couple of hours, right? And because you're, they're using a tool like journalist AI, they can iterate much faster. They can put the flywheel spinning much faster and try and test and test new things and see what works, what sticks, and then rank on Google and make more money with it. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave a link for this and for this in the description of the video, also in the pinned comments. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.